What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. It is Saturday, December 2nd. Uh, I got uh, Christmas in the heart of Charleston. I'll be DJing Christmas music, putting lights up right here behind me. They are putting down a artificial ice skating rink that we're gonna set up around. So uh, here in just a little bit, say a little later this afternoon, we're gonna be up here getting all of our equipment set up. We are really hoping that the weather cooperates with us. It's uh, been raining. We got to be set up outside. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can avoid some of the some of the weather. But we'll check them out getting this uh, rink set up, and then here later on we'll set up around them. All right, stay tuned. Should be a good one. What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming back at you again. Super cool event. Uh, we had these guys come in. You can see them putting together their uh, artificial ice skating rink. Um, not sure the quality of this thing, but uh, it was super fun and we ended up getting set up uh, as you kind of go see us going through our, our time lapse here. I got booked in by uh, the uh, City of Charleston, uh, Illinois Tourism Department to uh, come in and DJ Christmas music and provide lighting for uh, their Christmas in the heart of Charleston, which was uh, this past Saturday evening. Now, we had some concerns because the weather had been beautiful all week and then it started raining Thursday night and Friday. And so you're kind of seeing us here Saturday midday, you know, trying to get things set up. I mean, we're just kind of terrified that it's going to just rain on us or or whatever. But we got super lucky and none of that actually happened. But um, you can see me and my daughter putting up our uh, ADJ StarTech Boombox FX2s. Of course, that is a go-to light for me. Those are our sheds. One watt uh, animated lasers, which I only have them set on patterns because I didn't really want not like not all the patterns are Christmas friendly in fact I don't know if any of them really are in that particular light so it would be kind of cool if those companies you know offered these lights with different pattern packages in them for different events and holidays and things along those lines uh, the lighting I'm putting up right now uh, these are brand new lights that I just got these are the on floodlights uh, these are this is an indoor outdoor light they are waterproof um, it is a 100 watt uh, UV light plus a 30 watt white light. Uh, I just picked these up. I will be uh, shooting the video on them so you guys will get a good look at uh, what these are. I was researching UV lights because I'm booked with the city of Charleston for uh, their Mommy and Me prom coming up uh, in April this coming year. And it's going to be a glow party. So I wanted to make sure I had enough uv light to be able to take care of that so i actually ordered four of those great price got them on the amazon i'll have to put the link in the description for you like i said a 100 watt uv plus a 30 watt white light um, for this event i brought in some lighting reinforcement as you can see the nathan 343 aka dj fire i had him come in and uh, bring in his trussing with that um, that wash effects hex i mean that light is awesome i i'm really considering getting one just for this these types of events because uh we, if we had two of those we probably didn't really need much more lights as far as like lighting up the uh, skating rink itself however it was nice to have the what we were calling the attraction lights which was our movers and beam bars and things along those lines which you'll get to see me uh, put up here but uh, wow yeah look at these two guys man it's taking them 20 minutes just put up one light and here we are we're already six lights up eight lights up looks like you know same time as those guys as we're running we're setting up at the same time right here but uh super amazing event you see us get the crank stands cranked up trussed up in the air and of course the parking lot's got a little bit of a slope to it so we are uh you know leveling that out so that the the actual truss itself looks level uh, there is my new Christmas scrim that uh, my wife and I made. I made that out of a photo backdrop and then ended up Velcroing it onto the uh, front of my booth. Worked out really nicely uh, for this event. I do have several Christmas events coming up this year. Back to the uh, other side with his Cedars Lynx box trussing. They still only got one light up. Oh, it looks like they got three lights up now. All right. 
oh four lights but that's okay we're getting the uh, safety cables put up on those just in case you know we don't need anything falling down as I set up my PVs and before you guys even say anything I tried to get taller uh, sub pole stands they just wouldn't screw down into my PVs because they're thread ends and uh, I, I got the ones that some people had recommended to me but they will not fit in my thing so I'm kind of stuck using that or putting them up on speaker stands which seems a little pointless so with the nathan 343 being here we also have eagle eye drone productions coming in sailing in here and you guys are going to get to see kind of an overview we're all set up and ready to go i don't think
the Sheds S6s, along with, uh, and like, I believe, four of my uh, Rockville Rock Wedges. And then behind me, I have all of my Rock Wedges. Um, we do have a little effect going on here. It, it, like I said, this was Christmas in the heart of Charleston, so we decided to put a little bit of a, uh, a snow effect on our video here, which I think looks really cool. Uh, however, we were not getting snowed on, so just to be clear as we uh, transition through this. Um, Eagle Eye Drone Production is doing a fantastic job of just doing some flyover and getting the parade and, and getting us a lot of uh, aerial footage so you can see what our setup actually looked like. Um, right now you can see I have those UV lights on in the center of my of my trussing. I did have the 30 watt white floodlights on. As the night went on I went and transitioned those over to the 100 watt UVs which I am super happy with, uh, with that purchase and those lights. Again uh, I did buy those lights. They weren't like sent to me and there's no paid promotion or anything like that but I'm really happy with those on Foru uh, 100 watt UV and 30 watt indoor outdoor flood lights look fantastic as you get a look at that wash effects hex and exactly what that light's doing um, another great shot here by eagle eye drone productions just you know getting an eagle eye view of exactly you know what we got going on here it really looked fantastic we had a ton of fun doing this event i mean just sitting there playing christmas music you know i mean we got some compliments that it was like a hallmark christmas movie and that it was like a, a stars hollow type event and that's just all super compliments for us i mean as far as uh, retaining not only the you know the people that showed up but drawing more people and hopefully drawing more people for next year but uh, you see on my sheds one watt lasers on that wall right there which looked fantastic tons of moving heads going i mean we really we really brought an awesome production to uh to, to really make this event i think what the what the city wanted and what they deserved so we're really happy about all the effort that we put into it All right, guys, so we're getting a nice little ground look here from my DJ booth side. We're seeing our uplighting on the wall and the lasers and just that wash effects hacks over there on a, on the 343's uh, truss. That thing is just amazing. I'm really considering getting one of those. But just real quick while we're over here on my side, those are those new uh, Onforu 100-watt uh, UV lights. I have them in the UV. Those are my beam bars, which those lights are awesome. I do have them DMX together along with the uh, Intimidator 260s on my side, which are also DMX. Sheds 1 Watt Lasers, ADJ StarTech, uh, Boombox FX2s, and look at my rock widgets back there on that brick wall, just looking fantastic. Just a, you know, like I said, a really fun event. Uh, I think, uh, you know, the effort that we put in and all the work that we did to set all this up just blew everybody away. Um, you know, everyone was super happy, the city, the, you know, the, the folks that came out. Uh, see my new Christmas booth there. Yeah, a couple of wrinkles in it, but it's all right. It was cold out, so those are going to make it a little tougher. But uh, you see the deckers and my lasers and uh, the moving heads, and everyone's just having a great time. And the Eagle Eye Productions just make this video even better because you can see all the little details of, of all the things that we've got going on and just how fantastic it really did look.
right guys so after we're kind of getting ready to wrap this video up uh, again lots of people to think uh charleston illinois tourism department uh, charleston parks and rec department the city of charleston itself um all the folks that came out because uh you know at the times that we're filming we're not really getting to see like where all the people are because we're busy at those times so we're filming sort of like in our in our in-betweens but um there there was a crowd of people and a line of people waiting for us uh special thanks to lori henderson uh who brought me on to uh, do this event this year let me know in the comments uh i know a lot of guys are gonna say we got too much lights up or whatever but we were we were actually building this as an attraction so that we could retain you know our our paraders that came out to uh, to view this event and see the parade and whatnot and we kept them there until we uh, wrap this thing up so uh, again like i said let me know in the comments what you guys think about this setup um make sure you uh, like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so and uh i'll catch you on the next one <laughs> Merry Christmas!